Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Friday, January 17th, and I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. And I am Paul Wontar. And we are here, as always, with the marvelous Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Hello. And we have such a wonderful guest Royalty. with us. One of our very <gasps> favorite people in the whole world, a member of the Broadway.com family, Leslie Margarita. Yes. 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 Queen Leslie herself. We're What's so excited. What's she up to? We're going to find out all about that. She's in Emoji Land, of yes. course, but she's got so much going on. It's really fun stuff. So we're going to chat with her in just a moment. But first, let's talk about today's very exciting top five. This off-Broadway premiere is going to be starting off a little bit later than we first expected. I'm bringing down the room. I know, I know. sorry. Womp, womp. Womp. <laughs> so Lucas Nath <laughs> yeah. is that super talented playwright. He wrote Doll's House Part Two. He wrote Hillary Clinton, Which one of my is... favorite plays last year. Absolutely. And he has a new play at the Vineyard Theater. It's called Dana H. It sounds fascinating. This isn't a really big news scoop. It's four days delayed. Calm down. <laughs> it's starting February 11th instead of February 7th. What? You can still go for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank goodness. Because it sounds important. like such a great Valentine's Day show. It does. It really does. Yeah. It doesn't. No. It's, it, it tells the... <laughs> it uh, the true story of like uh, Dana yeah. is a real story played by Deidre O'Connell, who's a very talented actress. Uh, Dana was a former chaplain of a psych ward where she met a charismatic patient, an ex-convict searching for redemption, and Dana <gasps> then was held captive in a bunch of Florida motels Whoa. for five months. It's based on interviews from... It's a lot. Anyway, it's, it's I mean, starting... Valentine's Day spirit. Yeah, yeah they, probably just need, yeah. they probably just need more time to just like absorb it all. Mm, really but it's going to start on the 11th yeah. at the Vineyard. Yes, and this Tony-winning director is repeating her work when she goes to Europe. We are talking about the Tony-winning director, Rebecca Tashman. She will be reprising her Tony-winning work as a director in, for Indecent's European premiere <gasps> staging. It's taken this long for Indecent to end up in Europe. What yeah. happened, Europe? Um, previews will begin on March 13th. It will officially open on March 23rd. It is playing the Menier Chocolate Factory which very exciting. Um, Tashman will return to Broadway, by the way, this spring. She is going to be directing Sing Street <gasps> on Broadway, which we're all very excited about as well. Uh, that show right now is receiving its world premiere at New York Theater Workshop, so you can go check that out before it moves to Broadway if you want to do it that way. Uh, casting for the many A's, in ver a version of Indecent, will be announced at a later date, but it will play a limited engagement through May 9th. Very exciting. And uh, keeping Rebecca busy. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> And unlike our Oscars, the Olivier's have announced their new host. You know who knows about the Olivier Awards is Leslie Margarita. Wow. She's an Olivier Award winner. Come on. Guys, right. She brought it with her. She didn't. So. <laughs> we wish. I wish she would. We wish. Uh, anyway, so they do have a host, and his name is Jason Manford. He's hosting the 2020 Olivier's. He is, it, let's see. Okay, wait. Nominations come out March 3rd. So there's like five so weeks just, to, right, yeah, to really just work cocktail your tail off. parties yeah. or invite yeah. people to lunch, whatever you have to do mm -hmm. to get your nomination. Yeah. Uh, he is a much-loved comedian, actor, and singer, and I guess he's hosted it before. And mm -hmm. this year's Olivier's are on April 5th. He was in Sweeney Todd, oh. Olivier-winning production of Sweeney Todd, and then he did an acclaimed UK tour of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, oh Haven't gosh. We All, <laughs> and The Producers. Um, <laughs> all. Yeah, so yeah. It's, all, it's all happening. Award season happens a little earlier in London. Yes, and save the date for this off-Broadway award show. Speaking of, yeah, we are just fully in award season here oh. now, I guess. Uh, the Lucille Lortel Awards, which of course honor outstanding work that happens off-Broadway. These will be the 35th annual Luci Lucille Lortel Awards. They will be happening on May 3rd at NYU Skirball Center for the Performing Arts. Tim Sanford, he is the Executive Artistic Director of Playwrights Horizons. They do so many incredible work. He will be presented with the, this year Lifetime Achievement Award, and Anna Devere Smith, a wonderful playwright, Pulitzer finalist. She has been selected as the latest name to appear on the playwright's sidewalk. Nominations Ooh. in all competitive... Sidewalk. The sidewalk. <laughs> Nominations for all competitive categories for the Lucio Lortels will happen on April 2nd. And guys, theater people just continue to invade the screen world, and I love it. Let's do another story about awards <laughs> shows. <laughs> yes, it's only January. What is, what is happening? <laughs> Jason Sherwood is a very talented guy. He mm -hmm. is a uh, uh, not a Broadway set designer yet. I'm sure he will be eventually. He's designed a lot off-Broadway. 
He won an Emmy. We talked about him recently. He won yes. an Emmy for Rent Live. And we just yes. found out he's actually designing the Oscars. Which is, that which is, is a gig. A big, yeah. fancy gig. He Absolutely. also did The View Upstairs, Off-Broadway. Yeah, um, yeah. He's super talented uh, and a really nice guy. Yeah. And last year it was David Corns. And there's sort of a history of uh, Broadway designers doing the Oscars. And um, yeah, so cool congratulations, Good for him. Jason. Yeah. There are a couple of other wonderful things that you can check out on the Broadway.com site right now, including... Uh, Shireen Pimentel, who is yes. playing Maria in West Side Story. Um, we had her in here for a photo shoot and an mm -hmm. interview. She's super fun. We She's did. gorgeous. She's wonderful. Also, the very last episode of Mariah Rose Faith's Mean Girls vlog, Get In Losers. Wow. You can watch that right now. It's the last one. There's a murder mystery happening in the whole thing. Ooh. So it's very cool. I love how people really, I mean, Leslie Margarita <laughs> okay. kind of started that, like really yeah. blowing yes. up. Oh, yes, she certainly <laughs> did. Storytelling yes. within yes. the vlog, <laughs> the vlog world. Yes, whenever the queen we send of along vlogs. a new pitch for a vlog, we send them Leslie. Yes. We're like, here you go. I to be like, like this. this is, yeah. um, I just want to say, I saw Beth Lovell last night at Feinstein slash 54 Below. Yes. Leslie Margaret is upset because she can't go because she's an emoji. Because <laughs> yeah. everybody wants to see Beth everybody Lovell. Everybody does want to go. It's called It's Not About Me, or It's All About Not About Me. Um, anyway, so I just, calm. I adore her. You guys, she's there through Monday. It oh. was packed last night, so mm -hmm. I don't know if you can get in, but you should try to get in because <laughs> Dee Dee Allen is back. Oh. Dolly Levi's there. Mama mm -hmm. Rose is there. The Drowsy Chaperone. So and much. and also, I just want to say it's kind of also like a prom therapy session for fans of the prom. Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of how it felt. Like everyone right in the now. audience yeah. was still sort of grieving the prom. So and nice. you know, she talked about the movie, and she talked about Meryl. Of course, she's going to be in the Divorce Prada, and she <laughs> sang a song from it, what? which no one was allowed to record. I can't even speak of it, <gasps> but it was fantastic. <laughs> but. Uh, all I want to say is that she is so lovely talking about Meryl Streep playing her part in the mm -hmm. movie. And she basically said, did I want to be in the movie? Yes, but Meryl Streep's going to sell more tickets. And what's important is that the story of the prom gets oh, out there. Yes, so here, it was, here. It was beautiful. Absolutely. She's a wonderful woman. We She's adore her. Uh, so anyway, try to go see the amazing Beth Lovell. Amazing. And on that note, I'm out of here. Paul, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. I will thank see you. you. Uh, remember, Monday's a holiday. Ah, see you Tuesday. That's I'll see you on Tuesday. Caitlin, would you please tell us about today's amazing guest? Gladly, yes. You guys, we have Queen Leslie Margarita here with us today in the studio. Guys, she's currently playing the princess, you know, pretty much a queen, in Emoji Land Off-Broadway that's playing at New 42nd Street Studios. Guys, you may know her from her starring turns in Matilda, which was on Broadway, and Broadway's Dames at Seas. When she, guys, she vlogged for both of them because she's just that good at it she truly is looks not books i'm pretty sure is the longest running vlog we've ever had and for good reason so please go watch it okay as we mentioned before she's a fancy pants olivier winner which i'm pretty sure is a direct quote from her twitter bio um from her turn and Soro, you guys can follow her on social media at queen leslie no e don't put that in there that's not there follow her there leave all of your questions in the comments down below you guys and please Please welcome Leslie and Ryan. Hello. Yes. Hello. I'm clapping not for me, but yeah. for, for, for being here. Yes, and we are so me. excited to have you here. This yeah. is very special for me. I don't know if you remember, I started at Broadway.com seven years ago. Yeah. The very first show that I was assigned to cover was Matilda. I and I interviewed you, I believe, on my second day of oh, work. And right. now it was the best. And you're, it's still the best. We love you so very much. I love you guys. Oh my God, Broadway.com. <laughs> you are a member okay. of the family. I love it so we much. We adore you. You're in Emoji Land. I'm in Emoji Land. <laughs> yes, you are in Emoji. Mm -hmm. I That's rule Emoji Land. Absolutely, absolutely. You mm -hmm. are the princess. Yes. And Josh Lehman is your prince. Yes. There's, but you're working with so many, I have so many wonderful things that I want to chat with you about. But first, for those of you out there who may not know what Emoji Land is mm -hmm. yet, or, you know, because we've only been able to chat about it a little bit on here, give me the breakdown. What is Emoji Land? What's <laughs> happening? Where Guys, are we? this is a really difficult question. Yeah. So we are living in a phone. A smartphone. All, a smartphone. Yeah. Okay. All of the emojis. And what it deals with, it's so much deeper than people think. I bet. It deals with a lot of issues. And one of the main issues is there's an update and different emojis come in. And mm -hmm. perhaps Princess is not so psyched about that. Yeah, yeah, and it's know. dealing with people's differences. Mm -hmm. It's also dealing with what are you at face value? Yeah. What people think you are just because of what you look like may not be 
what's on the inside. Totally. It's dealing with that. Mm. It's dealing with so many like hard, hard hitting issues yeah. of the yeah. day. But yes, all your favorite emojis are there, yes. including pile of poo, played by, <laughs> by Anne Harada. Let me, you guys, this cast like is it's honestly unbelievable. Yeah. Lucas Steele, Josh Lehman, Anne Harada, Max Crum. Yes. Like it's a Felicia full, Boswell. Oh, <laughs> Felicia Boswell, <laughs> Natalie Weiss. Yeah. Felicia Boswell and Natalie Weiss Amazing. bring the house Who's down Who's your overnight. favorite? <gasps> <gasps> Besides me? Yes, yeah, no. Um, Make choices. No, yeah. it's, no un, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so amazing. Yeah. What, what is it like when you get all of, because all of you are known for being all incredibly talented and kind, but also just hilarious. What's it like to be in that room working with those? I mean, do you catch yourself just laughing your ass off yes. at them? Yes, and if you have already seen the show, you, you have probably seen us break <laughs> right. on stage and the great thing is our show is built so if that happens it everyone's mm -hmm. kind of in on it but right. every night something happens one of us does something that that I, I'm terrible once I go I'm <laughs> that's it, it, that's it. Yeah. um it's usually me laughing at Josh Lehman um but it's it's we just have the best time on stage I can imagine. and there's also really emotional tender yeah, moments as well I've spoken to that has seen it has come away saying like I knew I was going to laugh and yeah. chuckle and roll my eyes but I ended up being like emotionally affected yeah which I, I mean, mean we, that's what you're looking for yeah right? and like we that's... know when you hear emoji land we know right. what people are thinking mm -hmm. so we're honestly kind of counting on that for people to come see the it and, and absolutely be blown away totally. so it's 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 cool to see people afterwards right and you have been involved in this since um so in 2018 it had its like premiere right at NIM yes. which First of all, RIP. RIP. Um, that's very sad. Poor but like, right, exactly. <laughs> um, but what was it about it? What was it for you doing it then um, that really just sold you on it? Why did it mean something to you that you really wanted to be in involved in the journey all the way through? I one hundred percent loved the the story and the music is so amazing. Keith Harrison and Laura Shine did this. The, the, every song is a bop, as the kids say. Yes, we uh, did. <laughs> it is so amazing, and that really stuck with me. Yeah. And I remember doing it, and I I love Nim and I'm, I'm involved a, was involved a lot yeah. um, but this one was really really special and you could totally see it having a life mm -hmm. after um, and I so I was thrilled when when this came up again yeah. it was a no brainer and when you see the talent that has been attracted it clearly it's I mean it's selling yeah. itself guys what do you do we all have emoji what is your what is your relationship with emoji do you use a lot of emoji I use them all you the must. time uh, all yeah. the time yeah. there I mean I, I entire conversations right of emojis Just, what's and your favorite emoji the princess us oh because my I oh, I call her queen, but it like, was me. So anytime instead of signing Leslie, I'd just put the princess emoji. So oh I always God. always used it. Right. Uh, so that's definitely in my in my top. I use the one with like no smile a lot. Oh yeah, it's just the yeah. straight like I yeah, use that one just, after auditions like a lot. The upside down smiley. <laughs> upside face down it smile. Really describes yeah, my this day one. sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That one a lot. <laughs> Good, good. So you can <laughs> encourage, keep using the emojis, and then see a show about them. Um, another show I want to ask you about, and this is, I. so we have talked about it a little bit on Live at Five. The Nanny is Oh, oh you guys. And, um, you know, oh, I'm sure God. if you went around, everyone would have their <clears> different <throat> sort of like, but if I had to dreamcast The Nanny... It's right here. Oh, it's, come on. You know, I I, think it's that just... day on Twitter, I felt so much love from like <laughs> I everybody. I was yes, like, I am job. I, I am, am I, job. I am <laughs> job. I, I loved that show so much. Show. And, yeah. and I, I, yeah, I would really love to do it. But, you mm -hmm. know. We, I mean, the, the, it's out of, you know, the it's universe. It's out of my hands. Right. The universe out of my is, hands. you can only put out the good, the good kismet yeah. and hopefully. But I'm excited for it no yeah. matter what. You Absolutely. know, I think it's Absolutely. such a great idea. And. Yeah, well, who knows? Yeah, who know. knows? Yeah. Tell, I want to know a little bit more about your princess. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm sure you didn't have to do much research no. for them, but how, <laughs> how does one approach playing an emoji, though? Like, what, where do you, what did you do? How did you, how well, did this, you get here? This was pretty clear, and what I love about this character, it is a very clear commentary on a certain type of girl that is very prevalent on your phone these okay. days, mm -hmm. on Instagram, yeah. mm -hmm. um, the hair and the makeup and everything's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she is the person who is in charge. And right. that to me was a great kind of character to play to be like, why is this idiot in charge? <laughs> and how did this happen? You know, and so it's a really kind of commentary on that type of, of um person mm -hmm. which I was really interested in playing and, and right. what that journey is what their journey is what they learn 
Um, and that was very much about looks and, sure. and things that were given to her and, and then what she does with that um, power. Um, so it was pretty, that's pretty really easy. Out. I mean, but I mean, like that's very, really, yeah. uh, every one of these characters, again, that's we really know exciting. what you're thinking when you say a movie. <laughs> yeah, really. It's very fleshed out and very, um, it's very much about what do you get from just seeing it's the same thing with seeing someone's picture. You Absolutely. see a, a flat yeah. something and what's behind it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was really interested in playing that type of, of, of girl, um, yeah. of woman. So, uh, I didn't I have to do wait. much, much, uh. And my, the costumes are <laughs> unreal. Not really? I, I'm living my Lady Gaga dreams. Yes. So, I mean, if I wasn't sold already. Then. Yes. <laughs> and I pole dance. So, there you go. Oh, my gosh. And there's a Hustlers musical maybe happening. I here. know. <laughs> you guys, my time is coming. <laughs> this is what? This is 2020. My time <laughs> is coming. <laughs> That's right. Between I'm Nanny so and Hustlers. You it's are. Coming. You're sold. You're made in yeah. the Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so a couple of things that you've got coming up. On February 17th, you are going to be singing Broadway Sings Queen. 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 So they're uh, all singing you. Yes. They're just, it's, an, it's a tribute to Leslie Margarita. That's amazing. That's, no, it, that's, that's going to be, oh man, that's going to be so fun. I love those Broadway Sings concerts. Yes, they're um, so much the fun. The arrangements are awesome and that one's going to be amazing. I, I know that you probably don't want to reveal what you'll be singing, but is there a is there a hint that you can give us or an era of Queen that you're hoping to? Um, you know? I think it, it's very much in line with Princess in Emojiland and things that okay, she great. wants and that okay, maybe great. she wants it all. Yeah, oh. Mm. Well, I Could hope be. you all know what Queen is. <laughs> like, can you imagine? Queen <laughs> Rhapsody. Um, amazing. Um, also, you are taking a very quick trip to London. Yes. So wh what's happening? The day happening? after that on yeah, the 18th. Yeah, so what's yeah. happening there? Uh, it has been 10 years since Zorro premiered in yes. London, which is wow. crazy yeah. to me. You won so an Olivier for I that, did. by the way. Come on. <laughs> you no, know, it's the best show. <laughs> it is. Um, so and so fun. we're doing a, a reunion concert. Okay, we're doing a, a concert over there, which is really exciting. That's and so cool. to revisit that. And, you know, there's been a lot of kind of talk uh, again. It has never come over here mm -hmm. in, yeah. in a bigger no, capacity. Know. So you never. Never know, but um, yeah, Stir anytime up. Nudge, nudge. Stir something up. up. And yeah. I'm so so thrilled to get to go back and and revisit those songs, and, and it's really exciting. So that's the week. So I'm taking a little royal break from Emoji Land just for. So we'll be week. right back. Be right though. back. Yes. Be right back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And speaking of, in those, before we open up, I know there are probably a thousand questions that people want to yes. ask you. I don't want to take up their time. But having it having been about seven years since you made your Broadway debut as right. Mrs. Wormwood, what's just, um, when, when you look back in all that time now, what has, how, how do you sum up your time here on Broadway mm. become, and just the, this insane army of fans <sighs> and people that adore you now? What does all of that mean to you when you look back? I still can't wrap my head around it. Honestly, you know, I, I moved from Los Angeles and was just going to stay a year. And now it's been, it's my seventh year here. And yeah. um, it is unbelievable. I still, I, I cannot believe anybody has any interest in me still. <laughs> oh, so when I gosh. see, meet a fan or go to Broadway Con, mm -hmm. or, it just is um, so heartwarming and, and unbelievable. And I still feel like the luckiest kid ever mm -hmm. to get to do what I do and so I, I try and pass that on to other um, youngins coming yeah, up you know absolutely. please be grateful for getting to do this because it's still living your dream even when you're not actually in a show or you're still going for it it's still living your dream and so right. it's still I just I, I literally just can't believe it every every day it's amazing. even on the even on the bad days right, I still go right. I can't, I'm doing this it's yeah. crazy. And I think it's also because you, the sense of you giving back to the people that are fans of yours is always there. The way you engage with people, the way that you celebrate people, is it's very infectious. And I love, following you on Twitter is such mm -hmm. a wonderfully fulfilling experience <laughs> oh, because you are so open and you share like what you're obsessed with. I know like right now, cheer is something that <gasps> oh my gosh. everyone cheer. I hope we make that. Is, so what, oh, the is, best. Uh, what other pop culture, yeah, what are you What are you obsessed with right well, now? Well, clearly, I mean, everyone knows I'm obsessed with Star Wars. Yes, so the Mandalorian. And, uh, 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 Baby Mandalorian, Yoda. Baby Yoda, yeah. Yeah. Rise of Skywalker. I'm a yes. massive, massive fan. If you didn't know that, I don't know why <laughs> you don't know that. But, um, <laughs> so my husband and I are like massive fans. So yeah. obviously that. Um, I'm a huge pop culture fan, just I, in right. general. Yes. So yeah. I'm a major like all of the CW superhero shows. Absolutely. Watch them all, mm -hmm. all of that. But Cheer, and I was 
you know, my, my sister was a cheerleader, I was a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal to, to watch this show. And if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's phenomenal. Right. And another, like, underdog. Like, I love those stories about people overcoming stuff. So yeah. this is great. I loved it. Oh. Amazing. Well, I, I will be paying attention to your thread for more recommendations. Okay, great. Yeah. Al as mm -hmm. always, speaking of mm -hmm. your Twitter thread, speaking of your Twitter Come fans, on. what are some things that Leslie's fans would like to know? We have so many questions. I'm going to get through as many as possible. I can like, hear your phone vibrate. I literally am just like, okay, so the first thing is Molly and Chelsea and quite a few other people, but they're the first two I saw. They want to know if you could be any other emoji. What would you want to be? Oh, that no. You hit it out of oh, the you park. Hit it. No, no. No. You're sad. No. no. I reject your question. I reject. You know, the only other emoji that I use the most is the girl going, me, hi, hi. <laughs> Because I see, and I think I did that with the nanny thing too. I was like, I am job. Yes. I use her a lot. So maybe her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm very game to do things. So maybe maybe that one. Yeah. Maybe. But otherwise. But otherwise. Ugh. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, may zing. Okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. So Paige wants to know, what is it like backstage? And what is the vibe of the cast like? Because mm. everyone seems like they're just having the most fun. Exactly that. We're crazy. It's, it's, I mean, you know, the backstage is very small. We all shared, there's two dressing rooms, the yeah. girls oh, and the wow. guys. Okay, so yeah. it is a show within a show <laughs> mm -hmm. backstage as well. Cause it's, we're, it's very close quarters. And right. we, honestly, we, we hundred percent love everybody in this cast. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, we're laughing backstage just as much. And the stage managers often have to come backstage and say, you guys, please, <laughs> they, can shh, 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 they can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I, it, it, I'm sure you're the funniest. Back no. There. no, no, well, everybody. Well, it's, it's, yeah, they're all everybody's hysterical. You have comedic geniuses. Comedic yeah. geniuses. Do you have a BFF back there? It's uh, honestly all of us are BFFs. That's amazing. Like Josh and Max and I have been friends for a really long time, so right. we the three of us kind of gravitate. And Josh is your prince. Josh is and prince. Max is also one of my favorite emojis because I've never understood Guys. who that is. The man in a suit who's floating? Man in, <laughs> it's, his, his actual name is Man in Business Suit Levitating. That's okay. Oh, okay. Yes. And it literally Which, is that man. I've never and understood that's who exactly that is. I don't know why. <laughs> yes. We don't know why. Maybe you need to see the show to understand why. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, please. And Max, uh, oh, I don't want to give it away, but he levitates <gasps> oh spoiler alert. No, you have show. to go see it you have to see it <laughs> you have to see it it that alone his character just makes me laugh yeah. the entire show and i want to brag of, give you the opportunity to brag about your um your the creators keith harrison Ugh. and laura shine what is it i mean they I, i've heard pieces of music from this show and it really they really are bops they're bops like i ignore an album if it mm -hmm. doesn't have and they, they are all such every single brag one. about them a little bit what what have they created with this uh, it, beautiful i mean i i knew of them from los angeles and mm -hmm. from the la theater scene and everyone knew that they were these incredibly talented not only songwriters but performers as yeah. well they do their own stuff um right. and then when i heard all of these songs i was completely blown away because they stick in your head Every single one is amazing. <laughs> the ballads are so powerful. The arrangements and this band is unlike anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Also, the design of the show. I, I can't stop talking about it. The design of it is, is it's all new things that you haven't seen. Oh, but Keith fantastic. and Laura just like have this amazing working relationship where they you see them just bounce stuff yeah, off of yeah. each other and it's they're, they're just two of the most genius people it must feel so nice to just be in the hands of creators like that where they really yeah. like where they've just got their shit down yeah and a hundred percent and laura's in the show right and keith right. was in it at nymph oh okay keith played okay, nerd face it. but he was wearing so many hats this time he went you know what can i just <laughs> Right. right, and we have Georgia Boot, another like yes, a major love, yes. person that we for, forgot to Amazing. mention, who's you know un, unreal it's from stacked. the band's visit. It's it is truly stacked. stacked. Yeah, it totally is. Stacked. It totally is. I didn't mean to interrupt all the people watching. I, I mean, <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, no, they're, they're all going to be all mad like at me. Hateful things. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it's okay. <laughs> so Colleen wants to know, and quite a few people actually want to know: Do you have a go-to karaoke song, Leslie Margarita? No, I hate karaoke. <gasps> oh, what? I hate it. And, Spoiler. And I know because I feel terrible it always feels so gross that i'd be mm. like oh let me see if i can sing <laughs> <laughs> it is so gross to me when actual singers sing <laughs> let your friends that don't get to sing that's like that's idea. my job mm -hmm. i know what if you were out to go out to karaoke with all singers that's even grosser <laughs> That to me is just like, oh yeah, let's all it's listen to it. It's yeah, just, that's... ew. 
Amazing. It's so actory yeah. and, and bleh. That's so why no. we do Broadway sings queen. I, do, I know. Yeah, that's, but, why that's why. We, yeah, that's, 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 that's why. why. So that we can, they can get that out of their system I, and not I just, just go to. No. All right. No. no it's fair. Oh, not for me. Mm-hmm. Colleen goes, yikes, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> But also, yikes for everyone else that I've been out karaoke with. They're like right, they're flipping like, through their pictures she's like delete. <laughs> I'm having a no, great time. No, I just never not into it. That's, mm-hmm. that's fair. No. That's fair. That's Amazing. Fair. That's we totally. could do one more question. And actually, everybody wants to know what is your schedule like for Broadway Con? Will you be there? Can people get pics? Everyone's excited to meet you my this gosh. weekend. Broadway, Broadway Con is, Con is, fever. is one of my favorite things ever. And this is the fifth year. I opened the first year. I am going to open year, the amazing. fifth year. I know. That really is truly incredible. I know. Yeah. Um, I can't do as much because we have shows mm-hmm. at Emoji Land. Um, and which, if you're going to Broadway Con, you could, should come see Emoji Land that weekend. Yes. Um, but I'm opening it. I am performing with Emoji Land. Is that a secret? <gasps> Well, not performing, anymore. Um, <laughs> yes. with Emoji Land. I am doing <laughs> photos and autographs, and I think I'm hosting Family Feud. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to do as much as I can because that, honestly, to me, is just the best weekend of meeting fans face-to-face. And yeah. I, I'm a huge fan. I, I could try and go see the panels <laughs> of stuff because I'm a total fangirl. So I'm, I'm bummed that I can't see so much. But, yeah, you'll usually find me sitting in the back being like, Lynn manuel <laughs> Just. <laughs> I mean, you yes. are a real queen of the people. You know, I love, and I love it. It's just, and it's, the best. Um, thank you so much for coming by. Thank it's you. always the, the highlight of my year to be Anything able to sit down and with you. Please, thank you always. I can't wait always. to vlog again. Yes, when? <laughs> when? I mean, the we demands got, I know. we're going to get now. The next show. Next yeah, show. Please, yeah. It. Like, it's Tomorrow? not like we stop her. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, if, if there's something to be figured out, know, know. Know. there's something to be figured out. We will. Thank you again Thank so you much. Guys so Have much. a wonderful show. Thank you so much. Uh, come back and see us anytime, yep. of course. Caitlin, would you be so kind as to take us out? Gladly. Yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live almost every weekday here on Facebook. You guys can listen to us where you get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button. I said almost because on Monday we won't be here. We're going to not be doing live at five because we don't have to work today. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Be sure to tune in on Tuesday. We talk to Michael Yuri all about Grand Horizons. <laughs>